It's happened, the world's first kill of New World Sandworm has actually happened, but I personally think that it might still be too hard, so let's talk about that. As well as talking about some of the other little things that have been happening with New World by now. Now let me be clear, I did not get the world's first, however, I have actually downed the worm. Led by the legendary gaming gothic, we actually made it. But the world's first group, to my best knowledge, was the M11 slash rats guys, and I'm gonna leave a link in the description to any video that I can find that actually has that kill. Roger, I think, was leading it, absolute uh, legend as well, you should check him out. But it's also Benedict and others. They got the first, it didn't happen on day one, it actually happened on day two. And then there was a kill from some Americans, I don't know who they are, presumably some speedrunners in America, but I actually don't know. And then Duke Sloth, a little bit of a spoiler alert, they managed to kill it as well, I think either early this morning basically, or late last night, I'm not sure. And then Gaming Gothic's Random Raiders, well we killed it this afternoon. To my knowledge, that's about 80 to 100 people that have managed it. Which interestingly enough puts it exactly where Scott said it might end up being. And people all day long have been asking, is it overtuned, is it undertuned, etc. And for that question, it's really hard to answer. I think Amazon have pretty much hit the difficulty that they wanted. As I said, Scott said he thought 100 people would kill it in the first week. A little bit more than that I can see happening considering how long it's left in this first week. But I don't think it's going to be in the thousands. I think it might be like getting up to 500 at most. That's complete speculation on my part though, I have absolutely no idea. It was interesting to have a world first race. I was sort of jokingly saying we were in it. If I'm honest, I never thought that we would be number one. The gaming gothic group, whilst we are familiar with each other because we did it on the PTR, etc. I've never done any mutations with anybody in there. I think maybe Baggins was in there. I think I might have done one made with him, one dungeon with him maybe at one point, but not really very often. So we were sort of like a random group, whereas the other groups I think are probably a bit, little bit more coordinated. But inevitably the question is, is it too hard? Is it not too hard, etc. A lot of people like the way that it is. I'm happy that I've killed it because it means that quite simply the majority of people watching this haven't. And it means you can't just be like, oh, you're crying, it's too hard because you can't do it. Well, I've done it there. So I think Amazon have hit what they want. And personally, I'm not sure that's what they should have wanted or at least not yet or presented in this way. And I think it sort of sums it up for New World overall. New World is almost a game that is really good for casuals, but then just seems to sort of like fall down for reasons that are unknown. Lots of things are gated by awkwardness or just people. M10s are gated by the ward and the bane system and then the people who are going to let you in or not. Wars are gated by hardcore PvPers who are watching war vods, getting the gear and you know spending hours and hours practicing. I'm not saying that's a bad thing by the way, I'm just saying it's gated. And the raid is pretty damn hard unless you have a very good coordinated group with either elite PvE chads or an insane shot caller. Personally, I think you want most of the people to be able to do most of the content. The more you exclude people from that content, the less likely people are even going to try that content and the more likely it is that people will be like, well, not only am I not going to try it, I can't complete that game, therefore I'm not going to play it. Now, I know other MMOs solve this by having several different modes, and I sort of wish that New World would have done the same. I think the version that was possibly on the PTR, that would have been really good for like a normal difficulty. It wasn't super easy for a normal group. You still needed to be coordinated. You still needed to be like vaguely okay. Maybe make it a little harder, but I think that would have been perfect for like a normal version. And you could have put all the rewards behind that, except have a hardcore version that's like what we have now, have the world first race, have that be a thing still, but just put cosmetics behind it. Just one or two cosmetics, titles, something like that. Now, I'd actually like a system where maybe you got 10 tokens from the normal version and 15 from the elite so that you didn't sort of feel like you weren't getting good rewards every time you want to like make it repeatable. But yeah, something like that I think most people would be happy with. At the minute, like if let's say only 100 people complete it and then let's say it gets a little bit expanded, that still excludes 99% of the player base, then those people, you know what, they might simply just not try the next one. They probably tried this one, but will they try the next one? I'm unsure. What's interesting as well, when you actually do kill the sandworm, the gear and the reward, not really that hot. Sure, there's some beast ward on it and that kind of stuff, but you've already done the hardest content, so what is the purpose of that gear? I think New World ultimately has like a feedback loop problem. It's just not very satisfying to do the content. Honestly, for the people who are doing this in five weeks time, the question will be, why? There's some decent umbles, I think, in the weekly one, but 
not much else. Inevitably, I do think they will nerf this worm. Yes, it'll get a little bit easier as people get a little bit better and more familiar with it, but I think they'll nerf it to actually allow more people in. And if they would have communicated that that's the plan, I think people would be a little bit happier. At least that's my view. It seems they did listen to the feedback though. People wanted it harder. That's what they said and they delivered. I'm not sure that's necessarily the right outcome, but okay, that's what happened. People wanted hard, they got hard, and now most people can't do it. Or at least they can't do it yet. A lot of people are happy with that though. And I'm not necessarily unhappy. I literally spent 40, 50 hours or something streaming this, trying to get this done. And simply, if we're going to get more and more raids, I might get a more coordinated group together. But at the minute, we had like a world first race without anything for the average player to do with it. Yes, there's other content in this patch, like the hatchery, the seasonal trial, the story, a slightly new version of Outpost Rush. It's not a new map or anything, just some tweakage. And of course, a new arena map. Neither of which of those two things I've actually had time to do because I've just been doing the raid. But a raid, I don't know, it feels like it should be a showcase. I would have loved to have seen, like maybe they just say, we're going to have this for a week and then we're going to have a normal version. And then everybody watch this world first race. Like that could have been a really hype moment. Like Twitch was hyping it up. Everybody was getting excited on Twitch. But um, New World themselves didn't really like big it up or anything. Would have been cool if they would have put a bit of marketing into it as well and been a bit clear with what's actually going to happen. As I said, I think it's going to end up being nerfed. Just to clarify, I'm actually reading that NA may not have done it. Either way, somebody did it before us. So I think we were fifth. I'm not sure though. However, season two has brought a couple of different issues. Now, this has actually been fixed. It's actually a patch, but there's a lot of people complaining about performance and lots and lots of little bugs, if we're honest. Some of which were actually seen on the New World League server rather than the actual PTR because they didn't put the last version on the PTR. They fixed some stuff with the Sulphur Core in the Seasonal Trial. You can now actually play the song and get credit for it. I did that today. A couple of the spawns in the main storyline quest or the, um, the Seasonal Story quest have been fixed. <laughs> fixed an issue where you could exploit the desync. Pretty sure I was getting that just accidentally. The life staff healing has been fixed a little bit. Spawn rates for the quest, I think. And unfortunately, the ultimate housing trophy was bind on equip for some people, then they've changed it to bind on pickup. Sort of actually do think it should be bind on equip, but that's neither here nor there. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. As I said, we didn't get the world first kill. I want to make that clear. I just want to say that that's happened. If I say world fifth kill in the title, you'd all be like, what? But it was the Benedict Roger M11 rats group. I've heard so many different names for them. I don't know how to refer to them. They're the ones who got it. Big shout out to them. Also, big shout out to Gaming Gothic for carrying our little random group. Big shout out to my YouTube members. And if you want to come and follow me and watch me along live, then hit me up on the old Twitch. Probably not going to do the raid tomorrow. Just going to do all the other content. But I will pick it up and actually try and do it a little bit more. I hope you have a most beautiful day. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.